and welcome to St. Columba's and our service of Celtic Contemplative Prayer. I'm Father Greg Larkin and we're glad to have you with us this evening. Our service is still being done, as you can see, in a digital manner because of the COVID-19 pandemic as we try to keep safe and respond in as best a way as possible. We have limited participants here in the chapel and our singing was all done elsewhere following the guidelines for singing set by the diocese. Tonight's service is a contemplative form of worship modeled on the Iona and Taze communities. During the fall, we've been celebrating God's gift of creation, and this evening we especially focus on kindness. We invite you to join us as we enter into prayer in whatever way you're comfortable. Sing along if you like. Light a candle, perhaps. Listen. Pray. We offer our prayers this evening for everyone, especially those most severely affected by illness, for those suffering from the coronavirus, for their families, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers who minister to them, for those affected by natural disasters such as wildfires, hurricanes, for racist actions and violence, and for our election and our country as we move ahead. So again, thank you for being with us. And now we invite you to join us for a few moments of silence and then the service will begin. God of love, you are beyond time and space. Be with us here and now. God of peace, you are the word made flesh and divine love. Speak to us in word and silence. God of hope, you are the spirit moving in our lives. Move us to compassion and kindness.
Compassionate One, you have chosen us as your holy and beloved children. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you call us to bear with one another in love. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you invite us to forgive one another as you have forgiven us. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you are the harmony that unites the world. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you are the peace that passes all understanding. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you are the giver of all gifts. Clothe us with kindness. Compassionate One, you are the word and the song in our hearts. Clothe us with kindness. Let us pray together. God of our hearts, you are all in all, our beginning and our end. Encircle us with your love. Help us to share our cares and concerns and to dress ourselves in your kindness. Teach us to lay down our worries and fears and, and to put on your goodness and mercy. We ask, we ask this in your holy name. Amen.
to listen for joy in hearing we give thanks O oh God so chosen by God for this new life of love dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you compassion kindness humility quiet strength discipline be even-tempered content with second place quick to forgive an offense forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you and regardless of what else you put on wear love it's your basic all-purpose garment never be without it let the peace of Christ keep you in tune with each other in step with each other none of this going off and doing your own thing and cultivate thankfulness let the word of Christ the message have the run of the house give it plenty of room in your lives instruct and direct one another using good common sense and sing sing your hearts out to God let every detail in your lives words actions whatever be done in the name of the master Jesus thanking God the Father every step of the way Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all God's benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. O Lord, you provide vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses and your works to the children of Israel. Lord, you are full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Bless the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who do God's bidding, who obey the voice of God's word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts of God, you servants who do God's will. Bless the Lord, all you works of God, in all places where God rules. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. become very polarized and divided, full of anger, fear, and intolerance. Today, November 13th, is World Kindness Day. The following reflection from Anne Kirk's Kernion, a spiritual writer and artist, reminds us to be kind despite the pandemic and all the other things that stress or worry us. She writes, William James said, I will act as if I want, I will act as if what I do makes a difference. An old postcard propped up on my desk has the above quote on it. It's a good reminder for me that perhaps more than ever, our small acts of kindness can make a real difference in others' lives. A wonderful example of this comes via three of my cousins in St. Louis, who are perfect examples of this. These sisters have been bringing lunch to my parents every so often for no particular occasion, just to spread some joy. They furnish the table, tablecloth, flowers, plates, and utensils, and set everything in my mom and dad's driveway. Possessing culinary skills that are somehow, somehow are missing in my DNA, they provide tasty dishes which delight my parents. Leftovers, of course, are cherished. But mom and dad cherish, above all else, the hours spent chatting and sharing stories. The world's struggles and their assorted aches and pains fade into the background amidst the shared laughter. To say I am grateful for their kind acts is an understatement. I'm inspired by their kindness to act on my own good intentions as often as possible. Is there someone in your life who could use a lift, who would be very grateful for a kind word or gesture? Maybe just ask the sincere question, how is your heart today?
now we will have a period of silence to reflect on these things we have heard and experienced. The silence will begin and end with the ringing of the singing bowl. Loving God, when people of different faiths or denominations fight over religious beliefs, help us to listen and understand, seeking you in all things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, when we see that the earth and all living things are not being cared for, help us to be kind to your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, when we feel frustration and stress mounting in us because of injustice or oppression, help us to be patient as we work for the coming of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, when we feel lost or alone, Help us to know the joy of your presence and lead us to share that comfort with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, when we experience anger and intolerance in our communities, on social media, in print and broadcast coverage, and in daily interactions, help us to hear your still, small voice calling us to kindness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, when illness or injury strikes us or those we love, strengthen and help the caregivers and health care workers who attend to the sick and guide scientists searching for a vaccine for the coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Loving God, as we deal with grief and loss of any kind, including the loss of normal activities and holiday gatherings, help us to know that our lives are in your hands. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray together. Trinity of love, you love us even when we act in unlovable ways, when we are short-tempered or angry. Clothe us in kindness. When we are anxious or stressed, clothe us with patience. When we forget to trust in you, clothe us in faith. And when we forget that we are your children, clothe us in peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
May the word of God dwell in you richly. Amen. May the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Amen. And may you always be clothed with in kindness and compassion. Amen. We thank you for being with us this evening. We wish you blessings in the weeks to come. We pray that you'll be able to join us on November 22nd for our Taze worship in the evening. And we thank our participants, our music by Carol Browning, Alyssa De Los Santos, and Jessica O'Dell, our reader, Paula Ment and Carol Browning, and our technical support by Tim Helton and Cliff Agan. Until we gather again, we wish you all a good night. <laughs>